Hello, everyone, and welcome to the new release demo for our transcript analytics, also known as AI analytics, and the new UI release. Micah here is going to show it off. Micah, take it away. Yeah, thanks, Takeda. So we here at Rehearsal are real excited about this new release. It's something that, that has been a long time coming and, and we think is going to greatly impact our customers and our prospects, our new customers in the future. Um, and I'm excited to show it to you today. So all of this UI and transcript analytics uh, release has to do with this review page here in Rehearsal. As you can see here, there's been the new U upgrade, up, UI upgrade within the review tab to the point where here within this new searchable uh, feature at the top, where you can now type in different scenarios, activities, programs that you are looking for to be able to see all these different capabilities that are in here, all these different scenarios and activities that are in here, into which case, right, we can see all of that in here um, at, at one point in time. And that when we go back to a previous page, if I were to come in here and then go back to the review list, right, that searchability that we put in here remains there. So you're able to search multiple scenarios or multiple assignments or multiple programs uh, without having to retype uh, over and over again. So a great thing that I know a lot of you will be very excited to see. Post that, let's actually hop into the AI side of things. So uh, here's a scenario that I just submitted five minutes ago that I am the mentor of. So let's go ahead and hop into the success story scenario. So you'll notice here, obviously, the UI upgrade also relates to hopping into this actual review process of these scenarios, okay? Let's start here at the top. Now you can see, right, we've got the start and end date of the assignment at the top of the page now. That is new. When you hover over the mentors here at the top, you can see who is assigned as the active mentors to these particular scenarios. So that's important, especially if you're going to be having multiple mentors assigned on a given scenario. As it was previously, right, I as the mentor can review any of this original scenario information as I need to. But now moving forward, when I'm down here on the learner side, I've got a complete new uh, set of data points, these transcript analytics that I can now use uh, to streamline and provide more impactful feedback for our learners. So as you can see here, there's that learner's video. The transcript is there just like it has been over the past few months. But as you can see here now, there is an AI transcript confidence at the top. And if you hover over that, it actually gives you a breakdown of what that means. But what this uh, percentage is actually telling you is the percentage of confidence the AI has that it properly heard uh, the learner in their response. So it's giving you a really good confidence score as to what it thought the mentor heard and broke down within that transcription. As you can see down here on the bottom as well as part of these transcript analytics, right? We've got new components here in terms of percentage of talk time, pause time, average pace, word count, the number of questions asked, things of that nature. So just further data points that are going to give us great insights into how we need to coach these little, these learners to upskill them in these different scenarios and tasks that we're asking them to do. Along with some of this, there's a different way now to add a video to the leaderboard. So up here at the top, uh, where normally we would go to add, uh, we'd click the hamburger here to add a video to the leaderboard. And when we do that, it brings up the note just like it was previously, but now just done in a more simple fashion, right? Now we can type in here why this video is good, what we want other to learners uh, to learn from it when it is posted to the leaderboard. And you can see here, we can directly publish it to the leaderboard and we still have the option to request permission if we want to do that. In terms of providing the feedback, there's a couple of new things that you have to that uh, you have the ability to do, and that includes uh, this three dot down here. You can click on that, and you can see here now that we've got the ability to change the playback speed. So if people are looking to move through this, right, if we're looking to streamline the feedback process for mentors here within the rehearsal platform, they can play at a higher rate of speed, 1.25, 1.5, or they can slow it down if they need to as well. So they've got the option to go ahead and change that playback speed. Mentors have the ability to go ahead and now watch a learner's video picture in picture while they're leaving their, their comments and their feedback, uh, which will allow them to provide that feedback in real time as they're watching the video. So down here on the three dot of the learner's video, I can click the picture in picture. It'll bring up that learner's video over here. So I now, as the mentors can scroll on down and let's say I wanted to leave a comment, I can click on that. And now I can watch this learner's video and type in my feedback at the same time. One of my favorite success stories to share has to do with our great customers over at Alight. Uh, I had the pleasure 
of working with this gal. All right. So as I go ahead, I can type that in you. So I was able to do that in real time as we're doing that picture in picture. And then from here, you can see now, once we submit this comment, whereas previously within uh, this feedback process, we would have to submit it and then click the submit button that was up here in the top right. Now we simply click that submit button. It automatically sends it. So we're eliminating that two-step process, taking it down to a single step process from there. So as you can see, all of these new upgrades are going to be really impactful in streamlining the process for the mentors when providing feedback for learners in rehearsal and providing the most value that learners can get out of utilizing video-based practice and coaching with rehearsal.